welcome back. We're here at the West Springfield New England Chief Show. I'm Kevin Kessler with Firematic Supply. I'm here with Ken Pichu from MSA. We're here to talk about the thermal imaging cameras, otherwise known as TICs from MSA. We have a wide variety of, of family of cameras here. So Ken, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the different cameras that we offer? Thank you, Kevin. We actually offer four different cameras to the fire service market. Um, and the cameras that we offer are uh, all have the same performance level. That's the key thing, Kevin. Right. But the neat thing about them is, is it you can get the camera that suits your needs uh, best. Uh, and when I say that, when you look at the difference in the cameras, yeah, our camera that is the 5600, which is your budget-minded uh, department camera. Uh, sure. Uh, for those guys that have a certain amount of money to spend, that's the camera for them. Uh, the difference between the 5600 and then the next camera up, the 5200, and then the next camera up, 5200 HD, and then finally our top-end camera, the 5800, deals really with two things, Kevin. It deals with the pixels that, that the camera offers, and it also deals with the price, obviously. Right. Now, when I say pixels and price, you want to think about it in that, in that, in that format, if you will. Uh, the 5600 does offer 14,000 pixels. It's still a very sharp picture, uh, but that's its pixel rating. So it is the bottom line camera. Then we go up to the 5200, which offers 19,000 pixels. So it's a little sharper image than the 5600, but it also costs a little more also. From there we go to the 5200 HD. And we all know what HD stands for, high definition. That's the camera that offers over 80,000 pixels. And uh, yeah, it has two times zoom and it has a few other features that the other two cameras don't offer. Then you go to the top end camera, it's an HD also, it offers the 80,000 pixels, but it also offers, and we've got one right here, it offers a button that is, and as we look at the truck mount charger, it offers a button that's out on the bottom of the camera here, very easy to locate by just hitting your thumb, your uh, forefinger up and back, and you go, you can go into different modes. This is actually a five, uh, one camera that offers five cameras in one, if you will. Uh, it's got a few things. The white hot, which is for firefighter mode. Yep. It's got black hot, which is for search and rescue. Uh, it's a reverse polarity type thing. And then you can go to fusion if you have a hazmat situation. And then we have what we call fire and ice, and that is absolutely for salvage and overhaul. But anything that is the hottest uh, uh, in the camera, anything the camera is looking at, the hottest object is going to be painted red. Uh, so that gives you a good indication of what's hot. Put your temperature display on it and see if you need to load on a little more water or foam. And from there we have the what we call the rainbow mode, and that is for an isothermic condition uh, where you can't see anything anyway. Well, right. In rainbow, I'm sorry, in, in uh, rainbow, uh, you're going to be able to distinguish objects in the room and things like that. So four cameras, uh, what are the differences? Pixels and price. Wow, wow that's really good stuff, Ken. So, so we've got all different spectrum of pricing the cameras, all great performance cameras. But they all use the same battery, so if the department buys one of each, they can interchange batteries? That's a great question. I tell you what, not only the batteries, but the truck mount charger, the retractable lanyard, any option that goes with our top-end camera you can get with our 5600 also, our budget-minded camera. So if you have one that is, uh, and then you want to upgrade to, uh, uh, well, your batteries, your truck mount charger, all of your accessories are going to work just as well with the, with the camera that you own currently and the one that you purchase next. Yeah. That's good stuff. These cameras are uh, certainly. Now, what kind of cities are, are using these across the country now? Right? Yeah, we've got, got any a, big big cities out there using them. We've got an excellent reference list. You can go to the smallest volunteers across the country, all the way up to FDNY. Wow. Uh, now it runs over 400 of our cameras. Uh, uh, LA is running our cameras. County of LA. Uh, we've got a number of large departments that we can point to. Uh, New Orleans, Philly, all across the nation. You look at anybody across the nation and. Uh, a lot of them run the MSA camera. From some major evaluations and some choices that dealt with performance and some of the other things that the camera offers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you got some big cities using these things, so they must be pretty durable then if they're uh, they're using them day in and day out in big cities. Well, I tell you what, we'll do, Kevin. When we go into demo, we're going to throw the camera, show them the durability of it, how it's housed, and very important in the fire service, as you know, firefighters are a little rough on equipment. Yeah, they can be. <laughs> that's for sure. But it's part of the game. Absolutely. All right, Ken. Well, I, I appreciate you coming by and talking Thanks about these cameras me. and uh, we'll see you next time. Sounds great. Thanks. All right. Take care. Thank you.
please have a look at our website, www.firematic.com, for a comprehensive overview of what our exclusive products look like, such as the Brad, the Portacaps, All Things MSA, First Draws of Life, and much, much more. Now, while you're there, if you have a need to purchase any items, just click on shopfirematic.com, where you'll find an assortment of items at excellent prices.